What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're working on the chow again, doing some basic stuff, not really a big purpose on what we are doing because I can't get parts. Well, I could get parts, but with the whole stuff that's going on, getting the parts here would be a big of a hassle. So I searched around in my parts bin and I found this new brake pad that I bought 16 years ago and it's time to put it on because the brakes on this chow are pretty bad so to take off the back wheel you need to undo these two bolts and these uh, release the pulley and then the whole back wheel should come off but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take off the exhaust pipe so i can put a block of wood between there because because it's gonna be a hassle to get this back wheel off but it has to this new brake pad needs to go in and everything needs to be cleaned inside of it to get a good rear brake. So yeah, let's start off by removing the back wheel or trying to remove it. Okay, I removed the back wheel and as it's looking, I cannot get this out. I don't know how, I should have done some research on this before I attempt it. So I'm just gonna put it back in and deal with that later. I could undo these bolts and check out what's inside there. But as you can see, there is a gasket inside there and I don't have a gasket. I don't have material to make my own gasket. I should have done some research before I tried this. So I'm just going to reinstall it and do some other stuff. So we're back to square one. The wheel is in there. Time to find something different to do. I'm going to check out the headlight because you know that I had some problems with the headlight. Uh, this, this big rat's nest of wiring. So uh, let's see what we can find in there. Let's see what is still connected. Okay. This isn't touching at all. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean it up and see if I can save it. Let's get a scouring pad. That looks much more better. Now let's put the light bulb back in. Still doesn't touch. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bend it until it's touching. Get a good solid connection. Okay, that's better now. So this can be closed up again. Everything that's in here looks pretty good. Okay. Should be, should be good again. Simple fix. Now before I can start the bike, still need to cap from the, the spark plug cap from the RCX. Okay, it's back on. I'm gonna put on the exhaust and start the bike. Front light. Back light. Brake doesn't work. 
So as you can see, we fixed the whole electrical problem. We got lights again. The tail light isn't working because maybe the bulb is broken or something. But we have rear light, front light. That makes it all better again. We're getting ready for completion. Now, there's not much I can do right here, right now, without doing some research and ordering some parts. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch over to me back home and we're gonna continue the video right there. So see you when I get home. So we are back at home and I didn't wanna end the video with me just fixing the headlight because that is not, that's not really a positive thing if you can say it like that. So what I'm gonna do, I have the side panels right here for the Piaggio Chao. This one is dirty one. This one I already cleaned because I wanna see the results. So what I have here is some black plastic restore and I wanna see how clean I can get this cover, make it look black again, make it look perfect again. I have this other side I didn't clean, it's dirty as hell as you can see it from the inside there's still grease and oil inside of it so that is gonna be my control I'm still gonna do something with this side of the panel do some different methods but I want to use this turtle wax black plastic restore and see what it does if I can make this look pretty again now I have to say the original look of the plastic wasn't really black but I felt like it should have been black. It's more like a grayish look but I want it black. I'm gonna wear gloves because this stuff is gonna be nasty. Let's see how black it is. Ooh, it's really runny. So let's just go for it. Okay, the instructions say let it sit for one minute and with a clean rag, rub it back off. So I'm gonna get a clean rag, see what the time is. It's 16, so at 17, we're gonna wipe it off. First, let me get a rag and we are past the one minute mark. So I'm gonna rub it off. Okay, it looks much more darker if we compare it to the old one. This looks much more black, I like it. But there's some streaks here and on the logo is not that good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it two more coats and then see the results. Okay, second coat, 22, 23, wipe off. Okay, 23, let's wipe it off. The wipe off is really hard because it's like there are spots and streaks. I feel with a lot of buffing, you can get it good enough, but for what this piece is, I am happy with the results. Only after two coats, damn. So what I'm gonna do for the final coat, a really, really good coat, instead of using a rack, I'm gonna use a painter's brush. And really paint it on. And I'm doing this in the hope that I don't get a lot of streaks and bald spots. Okay, I have a nice and even coat on it, fairly thick coat. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it five minutes. So it's 30 right now. You're gonna give it five minutes and then do a final polish. So I'm gonna see you guys in five minutes. So five minutes are up. Let's put on a fresh pair of gloves. So let's start rubbing it off. I 
here it is the final result still a little bit of cloudiness but i think with rubbing it for like a half an hour and polishing it up you should get a nice and clean result i apply it very much so it's not on comment that it's gonna take a little bit more work to rub it off as i look at the control piece this looks absolutely amazing it's not black black but it's yet yeah, more darker it's more cured maybe when we look in the inside yeah totally different it looks pretty new the scratches i can't get out it's it's not worth it to to spend time on removing the scratches and stuff but what we can do with just a small bottle a paintbrush and a rag is absolutely amazing now i'm not gonna do this one because i want to try a different technique on this one and just see what works better but that's gonna be for in another video i just wanted to do something to get a better video out but this looks absolutely amazing if you have one piece on your bumper or or on your motorcycle that needs to turn black and you want it a cheap and easy way get this turtle wax absolutely it looks good it's easy you can do it at home why wouldn't you and for the results that i'm having for such an old piece i mean this piece is probably 25 years old this is gonna look amazing on the bike it's gonna look as new imagine the bike cleaned running good with these plastics hopefully this one turns out as good i can still repeat the process of this this looks pretty good if you look just look at the piaggio logo or the piaggio name and then compare it with this one i mean this is night and day this is absolutely amazing i wasn't expecting this kind of results i was yeah a little bit darker and stuff but this looks pretty good of course with a lot of polishing you can get it a nice and clean surface evenly if we put it on the bike we can yeah polish it up i think the brush method works the best applying it with a rack it's yeah mediocre you get a lot of streaks you miss spots you rub spots off but with the brush you can get a even coat and it cures perfectly so that is going to be it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and a comment down below follow me on facebook twitter and on instagram and if you are not subscribed yet subscribe to the channel i post videos every single friday stay safe and see you in the next one Get down!